Hi guys. So today's video is going to be a list of some bookish pet peeves. I always feel tiny bit, tiny bit bad doing any kind of pet peeves videos because I have the luxury to stare at words on a piece of paper and imagine things for spare time. And so I feel like it's a bit privileged to then whine about those things. But the stuff I'm going to talk about is annoying. I have done a bookish pet peeves video in the past, so if you want to hear me whine for longer, you can watch that one too. But let's get into the continuation of that former video with new things that annoy me. The first thing that I'm going to mention is what I call permanent stickers. And that's when you have some kind of little announcement on the front of a book. It's usually when a book has been reprinted and they just, they just plaster something on it and it ruins the cover art. Example, on the wonderful floppy paperback editions of the Stormlight Archive books, which I have gotten because I want to annotate them, so there is a bit of irony in that I'm going to mark them up anyway. But on the cover, is this necessary? You couldn't put a temporary sticker to let me know. There's bonus full page illustration unique to this edition. You couldn't have let me know that on a temporary sticker. Once I've seen this and read it, I now know that. I don't need that on there forever and always. It's not like every single time I pick up this book, I'm gonna be like, that's right. Next bookish pet peeve is when books don't have chapter numbers. And that's honestly, it doesn't seem like a big deal at all. It's not, none of these are big deals. <laughs> They're not life altering or anything. But something about not having chapter numbers that really irks me is that if I'm making any kind of a chapter breakdown for any kind of a buddy read or anything like that, not every edition lines up with the page numbers. So some editions are bigger because they are the hardbacks or something. And so there's actually going to be less pages than that than the trade paperbacks. So if I just rely on page numbers, we might not actually be at the same place in the story. So sometimes it's easier for me to say, hey, we'll read to chapter 54 by this day. And if there's no chapter number, I'm just like, read to this chapter that is on my edition on this page. Also for anybody that likes hard copies and audiobooks and going back and forth between the two of them, it's so frustrating when you've been listening to your audiobook during a commute or something and then when you get home at some point you think, I'm gonna just pick up where I left off in the audiobook, except there's no page that coordinates with the audiobook with the chapter number. So I just gotta look around until I find it. And once again, as I'm saying these things, I realize how ridiculous that it is that I'm complaining about them. But gosh darn it, just, just tell me, is it the first chapter? Is it the second chapter? I don't feel like it's that hard. Speaking of audiobooks, why do some audiobooks chapter numbers not line up with a hard copy books chapter numbers? It doesn't make any sense. So I've seen before where the chapters in an audiobook will be two and a half minutes long or something. And it's not like the chapters in the regular book are really short or anything. They just stop in weird places. I don't understand. Did the narrator, were they like, I gotta get a drink of water every two and a half minutes or I can't narrate this book. And they're like, fine. And they just split everything up by chapter. Like, what's the point? Can somebody enlighten me? Because I honestly have no idea. That is not the case. It's not like it's like that with every single book. It's just some books. And I don't like it. And if it's only off by a couple and it's consistently off by a couple, that's fine. Sometimes they read the acknowledgements or sometimes they introduce the narrator and that's technically the first chapter or something. That's easy enough. You just remember, oh, that's right. This is around two chapters ahead or something. But there will be some where you're in chapter 64 of the audiobook and it's technically chapter 13 in the hard copy book. So those last two, maybe, not everybody can relate to, especially if you're not into audiobooks, then that wasn't relatable at all. But this next one I feel like we can all hate on. <laughs> and that would be when the synopsis of a book gives away really crucial spoilers. If you tell me, oh, this is a revenge story, and the reason it's a revenge story is because at the beginning of the story, a woman's husband and child get murdered. Then when I pick up the book, if at the whole first few hundred pages, the child and the husband are there, then I'm never going to have the same emotional attachment to those characters because I know they're disposable. I know they're just there so that the actual plot line can get started later. This last pet peeve, I am very aware that I come across extremely bratty complaining about this 
of all the things. And that would be when special editions or collector's editions of books come out and they look almost exactly the same as the originals. Now I'm very aware when I look at special editions that come out, <laughs> Darker Shade of Magic, uh, that look just like the originals. They just invert the colors and sometimes they do it more than once. And all I can think of is you couldn't have come up with like really amazing cover art or some kind of cool edition where the artwork is printed right on the hardback. You couldn't have come up with something. You literally just changed the color scheme of the same image. I just feel like if you're gonna make a special edition, make it special. Anyway, that's it for me complaining. Let me know if any of these also get under your skin and frustrate you a little bit, even though you know it's a tad unreasonable, but, but sometimes it feels good to let it out. I'll go ahead and link my other bookish pet peeves video over here. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.